Hi everyone and welcome back. So here in this video we are going to talk about uh, let's say end-to-end -end testing or API testing in Node.js. So till now we were using this Chai and Mocha these two libraries uh, to test our utility functions sim simple uh, unit testable functions and we wrote one to-do utility. After that we have seen how to get the coverage also through the Mocha and NYC. Now we are what we are going to do is we will use chai and super test. Okay, these two libraries we are going to use to do the API testing. API testing means uh, you can say when we are writing a simple Node.js Express server, we uh, create some CRUD, CRUD, CRUD APIs. Let's say get user, update user, delete user, login, register, some kind of APIs, right? and we wanted to test if they are working as expected or not. So you can actually do the API testing which is also called as the integration testing by hitting the actual API endpoint. This is what we are going to do in this video. Let's say we already have our application created uh, in the Node.js Express or Node.js Express TypeScript and we have simple uh, API endpoints which is let's say the register endpoint and login endpoint and now we don't need to worry about what code is written we just need to worry about okay these two functions should work as expected okay so api is a prefix then there is an api register api login these are the test cases we are going to write so first of all we will get the app instance for from the express server right so this is first thing you will do and then we will import our required library we are going to use chai and then we are going to use expect as assertion from chai and then we have const request module that is coming from super test okay so library import is done maybe we have expect which we can get from chai dot so there are three things right should expect and assert we are using expect that is fine with us and now we are going to create a wrapper of our describe it block now there are many ways as we have already discussed about it you can use callback based or you can use promise based right so what we are going to do is we are going to make an api call and you already know we put a sync that means we are going to write await so this is the response we are going to get we are calling we are using a request library to make the api call we will pass the app instance in the request so request is an actual integration it will use the app server and then dot get here is your api first of all we are checking simple get endpoint right and we are getting the response so here we will write our assertions let's say response in response you will get a lot of things response.body here you will get response.body now it depends on your API response what all things you are returning dot to uh, b it's really dot to be dot okay let's say if it is there yes and then we can also check the status code response dot simple status code that is coming from the response right now this can also be written in the callback way let's say we have another endpoint which we wanted to write using callback done okay so should return the user if the name is valid okay It's like you are registering a user. Okay, forget about the, the syntax here. And here we are not using a sync await, something like that. So it will be a simple request. We are hitting request app and we are hitting post. And the API endpoint we are hitting is API register. Oh man. And then we will do a we also need to send a payload to this register.send this is the payload 
and here we can say okay this is the end of the function and here we can expect a callback and in this uh, we can say we are accepting two things request and response and here you can write all your magic here you can say expect response this is the response you are getting response.body.name like once the registration is done in the response you will get uh, the name in the return dot to equals I mean the whatever the name you are passing that you will get in the response back and once it is done you will call the callback which is done okay this is another way now the same same thing you can write using a sync of it also there is no harm in it what I will do is simply copy and paste here I will put a sync instead of uh, done callback okay I think here I can just get the response same as the first one const response use await okay this is like send and instead of doing this I can simply say this response.body.name equals to this okay this is about register now this is a simple happy path let's fix this okay so this is simple happy path let's uh, collapse this now what else we are going to do is we can write our more functions this is simple register so all these are happy path you can see we are just comparing our 200 status code I will just always try to unnote them uh, this is happy path now unhappy path means you are sending an invalid payload that will send you the bad request means 400 like uh, here uh, we will pass we will hit the same post request but what we will do is we are sending the empty request empty body let's say you are not sending the name property okay or sending the empty then in that case uh, you will get the errors response dot body dot errors to be an array there are other assertions we can use dot to b uh, let's say it should be n to be an array it's like it is checking the type and yes we are going to get the error if we are not passing the payload properly and response dot status code will be 400 this is like unhappy path you can say here we should get 400 as a response code we are using a sync of it everything is fine now other test case also you can write for the login and here also you can actually do the validations if you are passing the name too short or something like that let's say if you are passing the names too short uh, here you are passing the name property but it is having only one single character then you will get the message right response dot body dot errors you can also assert a particular message okay first error and what is in the message all these things we can compare dot two this should be equal to some message and this message we can see what message we are going to get from the server uh, we, we are going to the register API name must be two or 15 character right so this is the message we are going to get the the status code will still be 400 and the other message is name must be only uh, alphabetical character what if we are trying to pass the numeric right in that case you will get that kind of uh, message let's say you are passing some special characters so all these will help you to validate uh, your scenarios let's say I am passing some special characters right in that case it should throw a message in an array and the message will be this 
right these are like api payload validation using joy or express joy validator or some of the library you have used now you can write a login test this is all about register right so you can create a group here that was for register all about and this is i'm going to write for the login login api tests here you can see these all are register api test i have covered happy path and happy path now this is the login api test and here the only thing which is going to change is we are hitting api login instead of register and this is again post if you consider let's say we are passing empty body that means this is an invalid payload and this is unhappy path right authentication require and if we are passing something like this let's go to the login method what contains the logic for this the user doesn't exist authentication requires a number because we are passing a user id which is numeric right so that means it requires some input and uh, i mean user id cannot be alphanumeric what you need to pass is simple user id as a numeric uh, okay so what we can say is we can use this one and all i'm going to write using async await if i'm passing this this is again login and let's say i am passing user id correct then it should return the status code 200 for me right that depends on if user exists or not okay now if you are passing something else in the user id user id non-alphanumeric and all then status code will be 400 there will be errors right and here this is successful so similarly you can keep adding the test cases and we can run all these test cases together all right let's go to server.js terminal these are called the integration tests or you can call them as a api test okay and here we can check a simple thing npm run test uh, not in the unit testing we are in the folder unit tests express okay it is looking for all the spec .js. okay all the test cases are passing and everything is good okay i just wanted to give you an idea like how to write the, the api tests api is nothing but we we are writing express application we know all, what all apis we have written what all payload validations we have to do when we are executing those tests right so all those things we are already aware so we just need to validate that when the payload has this, that kind of data then are we getting the proper message proper status code like you should be checking uh, if there is an internal server error bad request unauthorized exceptions okay uh, like request uh, user created 201 uh, request accepted all these status code coming from the different apis you need to validate and that can be done using super test uh, uh, mocha chai or maybe from some other library okay that's it guys so from next video we can talk about jest right how to do the basic setup of jest and how to get started with this